Hello everyone, my name is HKH191. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use my new tool, Menu Maps Convert to Object Placement Maps. An object placement map is a symbol class included with the mod which allows you to spawn the same map created in menu using your own script. This tool was primarily created for pre-existing script makers. However, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up your own script to auto-load your map. Once you have a map you have already created and want to convert, like I've got here, you'll need to first locate the map's XML file in the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and go into Menu Stuff, into, sp into Spooner, and then find your map's name. For me, I'm wanting to convert this test map too. You now want to open up the tool by opening up the, the tool zip folder and going into tool, tool and then clicking on the exe. You'll need to specify input and output folders. You can use any folders you want or you can use the ones provided, by the, provided in the zip file. When using the example class, you'll need to tick this checkbox. This will allow the tool to recognize you're using the example class and will re reference object placement map code in the example class instead of in your own script files. Next, copy and paste the maps XML file into the input folder you've created or are using. Now that you've got the input and output path selected, the checkbox hit, you can simply hit convert map. For every map you'll convert, you can convert multiple at once, you'll get this message saying you the input and output path and how many objects the, the tool success, successfully converted. You can simply hit OK. Upon converting the map, you'll want to do one of two things. For existing scripters, you can you can skip ahead to creating the map. For people unfamiliar with scripting, you can follow these steps. You will want to download and install Visual Studio. Create a new project. Make sure it's a class library .NET framework. This matters a lot. You can give it any name you want. Make sure the .NET framework is 4.8. This will matter as well. If you're somehow missing .NET framework 4.8, I'll be leaving a download link in the description for this as well, as well as Visual Studio. Once you, once all this is correct, you can hit create. Yes, you should see your script like this. First off, you want to go into References and add either ScriptTalkV.NET 2 or ScriptTalkV.NET 3. The example class provided does work for ScriptTalkV.NET 2 and 3. It doesn't really matter your version. But as I'm, using, as I'm familiar with 2, I'll be using V.NET 2. Feel free to use either one. After you've done that, the, the first thing you want to do is above namespace, you will, you will first need to add using GTA, using GTA.math, and using GTA.native. Once that is done, you want to go below namespace, and where it says public class class one, you want to add using you you want to add colon script.
you'll now want to create the default constructor that will call your will start your mod when when GTA is running. To do this, simply go public class one or whatever or whatever this is up here. You'll now need to create the tick and on shutdown method. To do this, create two methods with on tick and on shutdown as a name. The parameters you'll want to send in are object sender and key uh, event args e. You can copy and paste the method to create the other method if you want. Next, go back to the default constructor and reference on tick and on shutdown by simply going tick plus equals on tick and aborted plus equals on shutdown without brackets, sorry. Existing models can pick up here if they want. You'll now need to add the object placement class example to your project. Right click on your project's name in the solution explorer. Should be here but if you don't have it go view and then come down to solution explorer. Right click and then add existing item. You want to navigate to the tools zip folder. You can highlight the directory path in Windows Explorer and copy it over to Visual Studio. Open up CS files and select this, the CS file named Object Placement Map Example. Once you've done that, let's start by creating our map. Create a new variable with a variable type Object Placement Map Example dot Mission Objects. The parameter types will be a list. So you need to go new list and it'll be object placement map example dot object placement map. Go two brackets and then squiggly brackets and add a semicolon at the end. Should look like this. Open the output folder you created earlier and you'll find the output from the conversion. It'll be, the file will be the same name you named your map in menu. Open it with notepad and you'll see data like this. Copy everything and drag it drop into the list, into here. All goes well, you shouldn't have any errors. You can close the list by pressing the little box on the left hand side. You'll now want to create a new boolean variable to check when your map has been created. To auto load your map, create an if statement checking if you haven't created the map. You can add a distance check as well if you want. If you wanted to create your map by checking if you're near any any of the objects from 
from your map, the simplest way to do is to see if you're near the first object. This, this should work the best if all your objects in your map are close together. However, if they're spread apart, you might need to use a for loop to check if you're near any of the objects, or use a custom or use a custom coordinate to create your map. To do this, you can go map dot entities brackets zero dot position, and you can get the then put in a radius. Set the boolean to the boolean you created to true, and go map dot create entities. Once you've done that, you can go go into on shutdown method and add map dot delete entities. Like before, if you if you want to create the map if you're near any of the entities, you can go for int i equals zero i is less than map dot entities dot count i plus plus. Put your distance check in there and replace the zero with i. For custom coordinates, you can copy and paste your distance check and go new vector 3 and grab your coordinates from in game. You can use a trainer to do this. It shouldn't really matter what you do. At this point, your the script is basically done. You can hit Control B to build your map into build your script into a DLL file. If you don't know where it's going, you can hit Build Rebuild Solution, and I'll show you down here where it's going. Go into Bin, Debug. And, th and this, these two files will be your mod. Drop it into scripts. Go back to GTA. If the map is loaded in menu, I'd highly recommend you unload it first. Now if you've done that, you can hit insert. Your map should start to build itself like it is doing now. For for the for in statement, don't forget to add a ret add a return statement so it's not creating the map infinitely. As of the 1.0 update, the tool can, tool can retrieve both the ro position and rotation for vehicles, pads, and objects. It will it can save the animations and scenarios for pads, the primary, secondary, and pearlescent color and livery color for vehicles, and any attachment points you've got for vehicles, pads, and objects. If you, if you have any problems problems with the tool please contact me on discord and don't use the comments section of the of youtube video if you have any suggestions for the tool you can leave it on the five mod mods website thanks for listening 
Have a good day.